Welcome back to Bathologic Classic HD. We've just spoken with young Vlad, who we were hoping would be able to tell us where Simon's body is, and he may indeed be able to do just that. However, he's not willing to actually help us, unless we get the canes off the old Gimski's back. Apparently the canes have been, at least in the younger Vlad's words, harassing the older Olgimski, Big Vlad. So we need to go convince the Canes to stop doing that if younger Vlad is to actually help us find Simon's body. So let's go ahead and go over to the Canes and see if we can do that. Although honestly, I really don't want to. I really don't want to help the Olgimski family because I very much don't like them. But I don't think I have much of a choice. Um, and along the way, let's see if I can get some food. I'm not exactly starving, but... You know, if the hunger meter appears on the top right of the screen, that means you're... Not doing great. And I think the food today is actually a little bit cheaper than it was yesterday. So maybe I should try to, like, buy as much food as possible right now. I'd be scared to do that, though, because I don't know what it's going to cost tomorrow. It could be more expensive or cheaper tomorrow, I guess. Hey, clone. How's it going? What the? Um, okay. <clears throat> Why do you only have a knife? Oh, shit. Uh, is that because the infection? Hunger? My relatively low health? I don't, I don't know. Everything's all soupy. Okay, well, there's another food place around here. I think this place sells food. But, um, let's not worry about it for now. I don't need food so bad that I need to go out of my way to find it. If I come across another place, I'll stop at it. But otherwise, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. There's nothing to worry about. There's only a plague and everybody's dying and I'm starving to death and I'm infected myself. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Hey ma'am, anything new to say? My heart is crying for my poor children. How are my dearest doing? Is everything all right? Oh, women's share is hard. <laughs> Man's share is harder? The fuck kind of sexist crap is that? Oh my god. These just sound so horrible. Man's share is harder, or... Would you kindly mend my clothes, my dear? Jesus Christ. I, I mean, I guess this is the, like, the, uh... Companion to the workshop guy who repairs your weapons. I guess she probably... Yeah, she can repair your clothes. It just sounds really horrible. Like, men have it worse. Now fix my clothes. Ugh. Have I spoken with you today? Mm, nope. Or, I mean, well, maybe, but it doesn't matter. Those people never have anything interesting to say. They never tell me who their tailor is. Who their mad tailor is. I don't know if we're supposed to speak with Georgie or Victor. I guess let's try both. It is far easier to be wise for others than to be so for oneself. I come bearing news from the Olgimskis. It has to do with the termitary. Most curious, what is it? Vlad the Younger asked me to tell you the following. The termitary had been closed before the polyhedron was, and there are many witnesses to that. Really? What is he getting at? He has no reason to believe that the situation inside the termitary is different from that inside the tower. Ingenious. Damn it. All right, so be it. If that's how he's spinning it, then I'm forced to leave him alone. For now. You can tell him that. It will only last until we find proof that not everything is in order inside the termitary. Oh my. Well, that shut Victor down fast. I thought he'd put up more of a fight. Hmm. 
I'm going to push a little bit here. Perhaps you might order your son to open the polyhedron so that Ogimsky's agents could inspect it. That will give us the right to inspect the termitary. My son has long ceased obeying me. He regards me as an enemy. Only Nina had an influence on him. His beloved sister was someone he might have trusted. But now even Maria can't make him open the polyhedron. And I wouldn't take the risk either. Let the children remain fortified. Does he realize how creepy it is that there's a bunch of children in a polyhedron in the sky fortress? That's really creepy. I wonder if that's this like the key to Simon's longevity. Do you think the Canes, or at least Simon in particular, stole the youth of children from a polyhedron or something like that? I can't help but think the polyhedron is like some machine. I meant to steal the, the youth from children. I'd like to convince myself that your confidence is not groundless. My son has now founded a kingdom of his own. There it is, towering above our sinful earth. He wouldn't let anyone into that world, not even his own father. If you're interested to know what's going on there, give it a try. Maria thinks you're a man for whom nothing is impossible. I too have long been interested in what's going on inside that place. That's a quest scribbling, right? I want to make sure it's not a new message. Yep, Victor agreed to withdraw the demands at once. He does not want the tower to be implicated. They seem to be hiding something there, but whatever it is, it is clearly not the disease. Moreover, I don't think I am the one they are trying to deceive. Perhaps I could use this whole affair as an excuse to sneak into the mysterious tower across the river. I can speak to Vlad about whatever secrets I uncovered there. Hmm... An excuse to sneak into the mysterious tower across the river. Is it across the river? I didn't think it was. But yes, let's go check it out, shall we? No new letters, right? No. Anything new to say? Is this disease indeed as deadly as they say? Go see if Georgie has anything new to say, too, while we're here. Because uh, this is the polyhedron, right? Oh, I guess it's... Well, it's not really across the river, but it looks like it's in the middle of it. God, look at that towering thing. I've seen nothing but the outline of it. I wonder what it actually looks like. What is it made out of? In growing old, we become more foolish and more wise. I feel almost nothing. Nothing new to say, I just wanted to hear his little audio clips. Should I go speak with the daughter, uh, Maria? Maria Kena? Nah, if Georgie doesn't have anything new to say, she probably doesn't either. Alright, let's go check out the polyhedron. I think that was a new letter. <gasps> Ruben's letter! He got in contact! We need to plan the battle in advance. The battle being the task that lies ahead of us. I will not give up without a fight, even if everyone else has come to terms with their own mortality. We need to join our forces, Bachelor, and combine our diverse skills. Our enemy is invisible, ubiquitous dissolved into the very things that we will need to purify. The enemy seems invulnerable, but it is not imperceptible, and whatever terror it instills in us is explained simply by our lack of knowledge. If we are to destroy the enemy, we need to study it first. For this, we need to capture it. This is our first and, ut and foremost priority. Please forgive my reiteration of self-evident things like these. My only reason for spelling it all out is to better understand it myself. Our goals are not quite the same. 
I strive to save as many lives as possible, whereas your purpose is to put an end to the outbreak. I've been told of your abiding desire to uncover the truth. I would gladly help you with that, if you will help me achieve my goal. Together, we can eradicate the disease and save everything that might still be saved. P.S. You will find me at my secret prosec... Uh, prosectorium. Prosectorium? Prosectorium? Uh, anyway, in the warehouses district, the map is on the reverse of this letter. Hmm. Yeah, so he's finally gotten in contact, so he's not actually dead. I wonder how he's going to explain what happened with Simon's body. Why it went missing. Hmm. There's something interesting here, though. Where is it? This. Our goals are not quite the same. I strive to save as many lives as popple. Uh, popple? What? As possible. Whereas your purpose is to put an end to the outbreak. How are those goals different? If you put an end to the outbreak, how does that not save as many lives as possible? It's curious why Reuben thinks those goals are at odds with each other. Or at least not quite the same. I would think they would be the same. So did that mark it on the map? Oh no, it's Reuben's Prosecutorium. Which I've already visited, I think. Did I visit that place today? I can't remember. But, uh, I guess he's there now. Alright, to the polyhedron. Also, it's very strange. No, I'm, I mean, obviously the polyhedron is extremely strange, but it's very strange that the map shows the polyhedron as being, like, in the river. Whereas if you actually look at it, we're past the river. It is truly on the other side. Just as he said. Whereas the map says it's not on the other side. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's constructed almost out of... The very design paper itself. You can see scribblings and it looks like paper. And look at that. It's a, like a drawing of it. And over there it looks like graph paper, sort of? like the engineer who designed it. It's like it's been constructed out of the very design itself. Yes, and this looks like paper. It's like the polyhedron's made out of paper. This is paper. It's graph paper. It's engineering paper. the other gang that I heard about, but I've never seen any of them before. You can't go inside, or else the tower will topple. I'm a friend of the Canes. I've come to see Khan. You're in luck, then. Khan has left the facets to mourn his grandfather. Come in, but don't try to get inside. You really don't want us all to perish, do you? I really don't. Oh. Why are they acting so girlishly? This is fascinating. What a strange creation. 
How did we even get inside? Where's the door? Th th I don't see an entrance or an exit. And what are these things? This is so strange. Yeah? Adults are not allowed in here. It can topple the tower. I won't be staying for long. Who do I have the pleasure of talking to? My name is Casper. I'm son to Victor and Nina, the youngest of the Canes. Now you name yourself. Bachelor Denkovsky. Are you a friend? Wait, are you our a friend of what? That's obviously misspelled. Are you a friend of our family? Hmm. What do I want to say here? Am I honestly a friend to the Canes? I've certainly been helping them. Do I want to be their friend? Also, Khan seems like he doesn't listen to his family anymore, right? So maybe if I say I am friends with the family, that'll make him like me less. Because he doesn't even seem to like the Canes. Hmm. I'm gonna try to be sly here. Because I don't think he likes the Canes, so let's try to make him think that maybe I don't either. Hopefully that makes him trust me more and not, like, just piss him off or something. At least that's what your relatives think. My seams are running. You wanted to speak to me. I'm listening. I'm the one who's listening, boy. Tell me about this structure. It's a mystery. You won't be able to fathom it. Do you see these walls? Yes. I thought so. We children do not see them. There, on the left, is the coast of the New Sea. Behind you are the Cleft Islands. Behind my left shoulder, the knot of the five footpaths. And the facet, a little way to the left from it, is actually the collapsed bridge from the legend of the Ever Reborn. Um... I see now? It's a poetic allegory? You're all dreamers in here. What are the walls you see made of, guest? Uh, looks like paper to me. Strange. Very strange. The average thick-headed grown-up sees mirrored surfaces. It's the reason they're calling this the Specular Tower. Each person only sees an infinite series of their own reflections. That was the design. Are there really a thousand children in here? Yes, but they're all on the other side of the facets. You can't see them, but they see you clearly. The facets are a reliable barrier. Against what? You, your doppelgangers, everyone who comes from across the river. I don't have any doppelgangers. You do. Two of them. Also endeavoring to save humanity. At least that's what they say. Every word they utter mirrors yours. And so far, they've caused nothing but harm. I think he's talking about the other playable characters, right? The Haruspex or something like that, and the Changeling? What kind of harm? Our salvation lies in repose and silence. Our town must stay still now. Freeze, like someone who's stirred up a nest of venomous snakes. Then the disease will abate and burn up in its own flames. I was told these were your, your words. Were they? Mm, close enough. But what do my, uh, doppelgangers have to do with anything? They make people uneasy. It's because of them that no one stays put. Disturbed by the Haruspex's actions and the Changeling's barmy preaching, people start fussing and end up laying their lives upon the altar of the common good. We children will not listen to you. Why? What did I do to lose the trust of children? 
I'm protecting our world. We were doing just fine without you. We could handle this plague, even if it spells the end of the world. Did you want to check that this place is clean? Have a look around. It is clean. I promise you. But I won't let you in, wise bachelor. No offense. More allegories. Looks like it runs in the family. <laughs> Fascinating. Hold on, before I say some things, let's see if there's anything more to say. What? This tower's been standing here for more than a decade. Yeah, nothing more to say. Can I say anything to these other people? Nope. I can kind of jump on top of this thing, though. Oh! That's the exit. Okay, let's take a look at what's happened with my journal being updated first before I talk about some things. Uh, the child speaks like a grown man. His manner leaves an impression. Could it be that Olginski is right? If the termitary is protected from any external influence as diligently as this tower is, I can exclude both buildings from my inquiry for now. Hmm, I want to examine the termitary. Yeah, so this is absolutely fascinating. I'm gonna pause the game here because I don't want to waste too much time. But yeah, this is utterly fascinating. So apparently most people see this as just, uh... Everything is as like mirrors, basically. It's just thousands of reflections of themselves in it. They just see mirrors, and the children see all sorts of other things. But I see paper. Even the kid himself was surprised at the fact that I see paper. Apparently most people don't see that. I'm seeing something different from what everybody else sees. I can't help but think, what does that mean? Why do I see something different? How am I special? And what about what I see? Other people see... Other people see the polyhedron and they see themselves, right? They see reflections of themselves. And what do I see? I see... I see... Plans. I see the engineering behind it. I see, like, am I peering behind the curtains? Into the construction behind the tower? Am I somehow seeing... You know, the, the engineering of the tower? The foundation of it, sort of? The plans of its creation? Is that because of the kind of person the Bachelor is? Or does that mean I, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean I can see fate or something? Like I can see the designs behind everything that's happening in the world? So fascinating. I love this game so much. Where should I go next? I guess to young Vlad. Tell him about what I found, and maybe he'll help me find Simon's body. But then again, if Reuben is back at his place, maybe I should just go to him and ask him what happened to Simon's body. Hmm. Let's go back to Victor and see if he has anything to say now. I'm already here. Might as well do it. Is this disease... Nope. What time is it? 1pm, still plenty of time left in the day. 
But, as always, let's not piss it away until we know exactly how many things we have to do for the day. Let's go back to young Vlad, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can tell him about what we saw at the Polyhedron. Would you like to trade? I don't need any of that. I will gladly take those. Yeah, how's my immunity doing? Let's go ahead and raise it up, I guess. I really... I need to know... Honestly, I need to know how the immunity and the infection works. I don't know if increasing my immunity will actually reduce my infection. Or if it will simply make it harder to gain more infection in the future if I come into contact with infectious surfaces or people. I don't know how that works, but... For now, I'm just going to keep stuffing more and more drugs into my system to try to max out my immunity, because I feel like that's a good thing. Alright, almost to younger Vlad's place. Ooh, I want all of that. There we go. <laughs> Two pocket watches for all that. That is so worth it. Alright, I, I think if I take one more... Well, I'll take some more. Let's take even more. There we go. Like, 95% immunity. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Oh, I want that. Ah, oh, the stuff I have to trade is worth too much, though. Got rings worth three and five, and that round is only worth one. Ah, it's nice to get out of the rain. Don't tell me that's not what you were expecting. I managed to settle the matter. Victor will no longer insist on inspecting the termitary. I'll keep my word. Honoring the Venerable Simon's remains is our mutual goal. We are bound by the same grief. There's a ripper, perhaps even more than one, on the loose in the knots. I think they're runaway butchers. Runaway butchers? Or those few who were unlucky enough to find themselves outside when the termitary was blocked off. Now they're hiding in the town. I believe they're stealing the dead to use their bodies for divination. They have their own future-telling techniques. So you're telling me you think one of those butchers might have stolen Simon's plague-infected body to tell the future? Jesus Christ. Where could they be hiding? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. One curious young man managed to trace their path. It seems they have been carrying the dead to the Spleen District. I'll mark the house on your map. Um, if they resist, am I allowed to kill them? Not only kill, but take whatever possessions of theirs you may find in that house. The body snatchers are no longer protected by law, even if they happen to be butchers. Very well. Hmm. This is possibly where, they're, possibly where the stolen bodies are taken by the Ripper, or Rippers, Butchers. I'd better be ready for anything. I am crushed by these walls. 
just occurred to me that a map with the infected areas charted on it would significantly help couriers and medical aides. It may be surprising to you, but I've already seen to that. My men are now assigned to produce such maps daily. The cost of making one copy is a mere, let's see, a thousand or so. A mere thousand. I wouldn't exactly call that cheap. Uh, I'll be sure to order a copy when I have the required sum. I don't think I actually need to do that yet, do I? Do I really want to know the infected areas? I don't think I'd want to go to the infected areas. Okay, let's go visit the Ripper, I suppose. Actually, let's stop by Ruben's place first, since he's pretty close by. Fuck. I'm dying. I'm dying. My health was right about here last time I checked. And now it's fallen to here. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the infection. Fuck. Let's see. Mm, it's a painkiller rather than a sleeping drought. Okay, so it's not gonna make me more sleepy, I guess. Stores a small amount of health for three seconds, I guess, or three something. Good for restoring strength during sleep. Oh, it says it induces sleep even during excruciating pain. Lasts for five hours. Okay, so I guess that increased my exhaustion, but I'm gonna take it anyway, because I don't want to die. would like to have no infection. I wonder if it's possible to go throughout the game without having any infection. I feel like that'd be extremely difficult. I just wonder if there's a way to reverse the infection. Having high immunity doesn't seem to do much. Okay, Ruben, please be here. Ah, oh, thank God, man. The blessed fool is making the rounds of the local rabble. Dear colleague, by some happy coincidence, I managed to get my hands on a certain vessel that I believe I can recover the pathogen from, which means we are now all set to research the vaccine. But odd as it may sound, I'd rather avoid tapping into that source I mentioned, unless I absolutely have to. I'd rather examine the samples that can be procured from the dead tissue. Wait a moment. How can we possibly produce a vaccine with what scarce equipment we have? It won't be a vaccine per se, but rather a solution that might temporarily bolster the immune system. Uh, true, I don't have much in the way of equipment, but I have plenty of reagents herbal tinctures, twirine infusions, by and large. The least we can expect is to keep ourselves reasonably safe until a better equipped team arrives. Where are we going to get the dead tissue from? I was going to ask you to bring a sample or two from one of the infected quarters. Be doubly careful, though, and make sure to get the dissection fully cleared with one of the rulers, else the risk would be twice as high as needs be. I'd go myself, but there are reasons that make it impossible for me to leave Simon's body unattended. Wait. Simon's body isn't even here. What are you talking about, Reuben? I really don't want to go to one of the infected quarters. Oh, but if I do have to go to one of the infected quarters, then I suppose I probably need... Or at least it would certainly help to get younger Vlad's map. Pay a thousand for it. some request. What is this additional danger you speak of? The dissection of dead bodies is something that the locals strongly disapprove of. For step people, the human body represents the world. 
only a member of a special taggler, Barak to name one, is allowed to open it up. This is a caste-based privilege, you see. Does everyone in the town share the same prejudice? No, of course not. But even those who are oblivious of the sacred meaning of the kin's rituals would still oppose unsanctioned dissection. Because it's traditionally inappropriate. A cultural taboo, if you will. An autopsy performed by anyone other than a true-born Menku is seen as blasphemy of the worst kind. Even incest is not as repulsive to them. What are the Menku? Translated loosely as, men who set apart the parts of a whole. Uh, the Menku are the adepts of the kin. Butchers, surgeons, prophets. Any occupation that has to do with knowing the separate parts that comprise a whole. Ah, oh, this music is so cool, isn't it? Freaking love the music in this game. Fine, but I'm definitely not a Menku. So what am I supposed to do? Do pay a visit to Governor Suborov. I wouldn't go to Vlad if I were you. He's too resourceful, and too inclined to drag you into his schemes. The canes are also out of the question, as anything that leads Georgie to me would likely result in Simon's body being removed. And I still have a lot of work to do. Hmm. So I can tell him to get someone else to find the samples, but... <sighs> nah, I gotta do what I can. Sounds reasonable. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I love this description. The first step is appropriately idiotic. I need to inform the governor of my plans. He has to give me official permission to perform post-mortem autopsy on the victims of the disease. That's not a new letter, right? Nope. Yeah, so once again, Simon's body seems to be an other task. I guess it's a side quest or something. Optional. And doing what Reuben wants me to do is the main thing I need to do. Yes? Okay, let me ask him for supplies, since he's asking me to do some nasty stuff going into infected quarters. The infected quarter is hell on earth. It's absolutely impossible to survive there. Do you have any antibiotics at all? Any kind of immune system stimulants? None whatsoever. I don't have any medicine here. Truth be told, this is one of the reasons I would prefer not to enter the infected quarter myself. <laughs> but you're fine with asking me to go there, huh? Now, that's unfortunate. Rumor has it that the Ogimskis have organized the distribution of medicine among a few of the more important townspeople. I had to stay here in hiding, so I did not get any of that. But some of the people you've come to know here will be only too happy to help. Okay, so amongst some of the very important people, I guess they have some stores of medicine that I can ask for. I'll follow your advice. And the blessed fool is making the rounds of the local rabble. You're still not being entirely sincere with me, colleague. Tell me about Simon. Well, the initial diagnosis was supported. There is no doubt Simon died to Sand Plague. And yet you're still studying the body. Why? I want to see what the disease can do to human internal organs. I need more time for that. I didn't even perform an autopsy yet. And I thought you wanted to see if Simon has the same anatomy as a regular human being. You see through me, Bachelor. This is indeed my purpose, and this is the reason why I cannot give back the body. I hope you won't tell the Canes where I am. I won't. I'd be interested to know what the autopsy will reveal. Hmm. I'd rather not go looking for any... Hiding from the Canes. Feels like a dangerous game to play. Since they're very powerful. You know, let's go ahead and visit Bad Grief's Lair. I want to sell some stuff, get enough money to buy the map, and then I want to buy the map from Young Vlad while I'm so close to him.
What was that sound? Is that a new letter? No. What was that? I guess an errant scribble sound or something. They say it is neither pox nor cholera. Too soon to measure for a coffin, then. <laughs> the business will flourish. Business to discuss with you. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not really sure where these are going exactly, but let's see. Someone's dropped me a hint that it may be unwise to touch the dead. Why? Touch your head if you find any, Doc. Touching feels nice, although I prefer the living. Why? I need the body of a sand plague victim to extract an infection sample. Oh, you mean you want a cut? No cutting, Doc, no way. Nope, not allowed. I'm telling you as the materialist that I am, Either them zealots will tear your arms away from them sockets, or some ugly seething pest will crawl out of step. I'm saying that from experience, I am. My lot. They prefer strangling with a cord. Fine. Seems like it was a bad idea to begin with. Yeah, sleep. Alright, let's see what you got to sell. are so damn expensive. Alright, is it about time to sell my revolver? The revolver I don't use, of course. I'm not going to sell this one. It's just not worth that much. I'm still not going to sell it. So I need to get to a thousand so that I can afford the map. That's worth 560, sure. Uh, what else? I don't want to sell stuff that I can barter. Uh, maybe a little bit of medicine. God, 280 for that is not much, though. I feel like I might be getting screwed with this guy. Here. I have a little bit of kerosene. There we go. Can I talk to you? Still can. Let's go buy that map from Younger Vlad. Dead end. Yeah, I don't know if the prices have just changed for the day, or if maybe he just doesn't pay as much for weapons and stuff like that. And I guess even medicine? Because I know before I was getting offered from shopkeepers more than that for the Meridorm. 2 p.m. God, this place is a freaking maze. Oh, my exhaustion's going up. Even that's appearing in the top right of the screen now. It won't go away. It's all very suspicious. I'd like to buy it right now. Thank you. Let's see. Oh boy. All that's infected, huh? All that. Jesus. Guess it kind of originated from either the Termitary or from Isidore's place. That's a big chunk of the town. That's the... the Spleen District, right? Isn't that what that place is called? Ah! 
Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go over to this house here and see if I can find Simon's body. And then head on over to the infected region and see if I can get a tissue sample. <laughs>